Did you ever deal with a dominant personality? Are you a dominant personality? Hi, Dave Lo Shelter here. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the dominant personality. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and take a look at what we've been doing with the DISC assessment and the personality types, the behavioral types, and how to really look at them in such a way that you're able to dissect uh, the way people behave. And if you're a dominant personality, you'll be able to understand yourself as well. So what I want to do is I want to go through four major things and the first one is fear the second one is stress the third one security the fourth one is worth and the fifth one is in the workplace and these are all determined on how someone responds to their environment so if you're a dominant personality one of the greatest fears that you have is the fear of being taken advantage of this is something that a dominant behavioral style uh, really fears the most because it's something that trust is really important to them so if they are if something's going on behind the scenes and they don't have control over it they and they feel like they're being taken advantage of then that brings a tremendous amount of fear into into their lives so what you want to do is if you know a dominant personality and you see them become fearful most likely one of the reasons one of the possible reasons is that they are going to feel like there's something going on in the background and they are personally being taken advantage of so and if you are a dominant personality and you start to feel that fear you want to check into that and say you know what's really going on here now the second one is stress and you can probably, it all plays off each other. If they're feeling like they're being taken advantage of, and that could increase the stress level. But with the stress level going up, their behavior turns into a very dictatorial type of look and feel. And so if you're a dominant personality, you become very dictatorial, uh, overly dictatorial, uh, overly controlling, probably an increased amount of stress in your life. Uh, somewhere, if it's the work life, family life, uh, community, whatever that is, it's going to come up somewhere, and it's going to be you're going to be very directive, and you're going to be become much more overly directive than you usually are. Because you know, as as a dominant personality, typically, you know they want things done quickly, they want things done you know right away, they don't want a lot of detail. But when stress hits their lives, that pops up. The dictatorial type of behavior style pops up pretty uh, efficiently. The third one is security. What makes them feel secure? Well, the one thing that makes a dominant personality in the D, in the DISC assessment, is the sense of control. If they have a sense of control, that brings a sense of security they need to be able to, to gain that control and so that is a major part of their personality or their behavioral style uh, that makes a difference between feeling insecure and if they feel insecure they're probably out of control if they're secure they feel in control so it's really that, that, that symbiotic relationship with that really makes sense when it comes to a dominant style especially when you're a high D on disk assessment that really makes a difference where does their worth come from well their worth comes from their track record now you'll see if you walk into a, a D's office you're gonna see awards and pictures and significant things that they have done and so that brings worth to them and they show it that way where they feel that my worth comes from my uh, past abilities to be able to do X amount of work or any type of, of accolades that uh, they've gotten or they, they've been awarded that's their track record they equate that to their worth or self-worth what about the workplace the workplace they need a workplace that's very efficient since they do things very quickly and they want things done quickly then they also want it done efficiently 
And so the efficiency becomes the avenue for the work being done quick and efficient. And so they look for that. They look for employees who are efficient. They are efficient. And so when they're in the workplace, they make sure that you know things are done um, very quickly, very efficiently, and correctly. Okay, so this is the lesson on the uh, the anatomy of the dominant style. Please move to the next lesson in this program. Hi, my name is Dave Loschelto, and for the past 20 years, I've worked with managers, supervisors, directors, executive team members, and leaders like yourself to help them get better. What I want to share with you today is that education is changing. And if you want to learn, you have to learn in a faster and more efficient way. I've developed a number of courses that are short and easy to learn 24-7. You can learn them from your phone, your tablet, or your computer. From my vast amounts of experience, my mentors taught me that learning is the key to success and to have a formula is the way to do it. Do you want the competitive advantage? Do you want to be a great leader? Do you want to influence people? Learning and education is the way to do that. And the way you educate yourself today is different. You should check out some of my courses. The 14 Days to Leadership. The Winner's Workshop. Four Ways to Influencing Anyone Anywhere. And much, much more. These are some of the courses I've created for you. These courses are short, fun, exciting, and they just make sense. We're going to give you the confidence. We're going to give you the skills. We're going to give you the abilities to make a difference. Try our courses today.